I often get messages on Instagram asking what nude shade of lipstick I'm wearing and it varies so often because I have quite a few that I like to wear and they all differ very slightly. So what I thought is I'd show you five of my favourites that I'm using at the moment and for anyone who's not really into nude lipsticks you'll probably just think I cannot see the difference between any of them but for those of you that are really into a nude lipstick you will totally appreciate the fine differences between each one. So I'm going to start with one that is very lovely, it's one of the new Hermes shades. So if you remember I did a video on the Hermes lipsticks that I was gifted at the launch of Hermes Beauty and they've since released three new colours, one of which has become one of my day-to-day -day nude shades. It comes in this really lovely little cotton holder which protects the beautiful packaging. Oh, I love these little colour combos on the Hermes lipsticks. So this one is called Rose Ombre and it's a really pretty pinky nude. It's one of those lovely shades that works with any makeup that I do. I mean, I pretty much always just do like natural makeup, but for instance, if I was to do an eyeliner or maybe just a bit more eye makeup, it like works really well with that. I like to blot my lipstick into my lips because I feel like it helps it melt into the, into my lips more and almost like makes my lips look a bit bigger. So that's rural, what is it? Rose Ombre. And it's a lovely creamy consistency, it's not at all matte. I am more of a fan of a matte lipstick but just recently I've kind of got more into more of a creamier texture. I don't know what the term is for that. Is it sheer or, I don't know. Anyway, it's not matte. So that's the Hermes one. Next up is one by My Beauty Brand and the shade is Olivia Bronze Rose. Yeah, Olivia Bronze Rose 301. Now this one is darker than the Hermes one and it's got quite a lot of warmth to it. So it almost has a bit of a brownie tinge. I, yeah, I, I really like it. So I tend to like wear a bit of a warmer blush. Like if I put on a bit more bronzer for instance, or a blush that's maybe not so pinky, I think this one works really well. Again, really nice and creamy. So that's Olivia Bronze Rose by my beauty brand. I get confused because it says buy me on it. I feel like that's misleading. Anyway, next one is by a very special brand called La Bouche Rouge and they are amazing because they have eliminated plastic from their production of lipsticks. They produce these gorgeous leather bound cases which you buy refillable lipsticks, they sort of slot in with a magnet. So environmentally friendly, but also absolutely beautiful. So you can see those are my initials on there. Very posh. And this shade is a gorgeous nude called Rosewood. It's a bit paler than my usual go-to nude shade. However, it is lovely. and quite kind of see-through is probably the wrong word but you can it's not like a really dense color so it does feel very natural and would work really well with a nice smoky eye so that is what i'm going to be doing very soon and i'm going to do a video on a smoky eye i've said it before i will do it so that's La Bouche Rouge Rosewood. Next one is by Ilia and the shade is Little Sister. I have shown this one before when I did a video, I think it was just about 
products I'd received from Ilya that I was really enjoying. Anyway, this one is quite a dark one. And for me, it's like a darker version of my lip color. So I don't know about you, but I have days where my lips are paler than other days. It's quite strange. I don't know why that is. So this is good for those days when I want to look like I'm not wearing lipstick and I've got really healthy lips. It's a good one. So that is the Ilia Little Sister. And finally, one by Chanel. This is the Rouge Allure 107 called Or Beige, which is a bit of a strange name, but it's a gorgeous lipstick. And the packaging's amazing. You press this button at the bottom and it pops out. So satisfying. Now, this might look normal to the naked eye, but it's not because it actually has some glitter in it. Oh, it's very pretty. And I mean, I think this is ideal for this time of year gearing up to the festivities, albeit from the comfort of our own home with only ourselves for company, but still fun to put on a good lippy. So I don't know if you can tell, but that's got a really lovely kind of golden glitter in it. Snazzy. What did I say it was called? Or beige, yeah, strange name, but anyway, yeah. Lovely, lovely packaging, lovely shade. So those are the five nude lipsticks that I'm really enjoying at the moment. I hope you enjoyed that. Do let me know which one's your favorite. I'll note to all of them below with links. And thank you so much for watching.